It is important to achieve a 100% vaccination rate among seniors, as many have pre-existing conditions that could make COVID-19 infections more severe. That's according to one expert the CNA spoke to. More than seven in 10 seniors aged 70 and above here in Singapore have been vaccinated. Cheryl Go with this report. At 99 years old, Janet Hill cuts a sprightly figure. Despite having heart conditions, hip replacements, high blood pressure and eczema, she keeps her body and mind active. Madam Hale has been fully vaccinated against COVID-19 since late April. Except for a short period of nausea, she didn't experience any other side effects. I'm a heart patient. Um, my, my family got nervous and they had a night nurse to be with me at night. Yeah, we have a young granddaughter and I wanted her and the whole family to be safe, so I thought that it's my duty to go ahead and get vaccinated. Ramped up efforts are underway to get seniors like Madam Hale protected. They include deploying mobile vaccination teams to the heartlands. This allows the elderly to get jabbed without an appointment. An expert we spoke to says it's vital for this vulnerable group to get protected. The seniors can become more sick. It's not just about symptoms wise, but the fact that they get breathless, they get respiratory distress. It plays out very differently in someone who is elderly by way of aggravating certain uh, uh, disease conditions like pneumonia, for example. Dr. Kurup adds he hopes to see all seniors in Singapore vaccinated. If we don't get that target to 10 upon 10 as much as we can, this is the group that is going to uh, become a problem. It's, that's where the morbidity and the mortality uh, of this condition is going to uh, impact on in this nation. With the recent spike in cases, the health ministry has also urged elderly who are unvaccinated to stay home as much as possible. Another expert says it's almost irresponsible if people don't get vaccinated, especially if they belong to vulnerable groups like the elderly. Statistics have shown that those who are vaccinated don't get serious symptoms if they're infected with COVID-19. It's, it's frankly irresponsible of somebody if, if they don't get vaccinated. We, we, we don't see sick people... Uh, in the vaccinated cohort. Oh, in the last three months, there's only been two vaccinated people who have even need oxygen. All the deaths, all the ICU patients and many, many people that have needed oxygen are mostly in the unvaccinated completely and some in the partially vaccinated. So, so honestly, it's um, family members, neighbours, church groups, to please take take those people, encourage those people to get vaccinated. It's a, it's a very serious decision that, that's being made. 